Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing good and all is well. I must start with an apology to you all. I mean, I've been MIA for quite some time. Well, life hit me like a ton of bricks. I mean, I'm still not quite where I want to be, but I'm better. And that's really all that matters. I mean, I'm just taking things one day at a time. But I'm definitely back here for you all. I mean, please check out the video about the new membership options. And please grab your membership today. When I say I'm back, I am back. So, let's get down to business. I mean, I figured when I came back, I must come back strong. You know, I mean, I ain't gonna lie though. I've had some severe cases of writer's block like i couldn't think about what i wanted the next video to be about for the life of me um but then i decided why not pick up where i left off why not continue the slavery series i mean why not pick up with slavery chapter five and slavery chapter five is going to be none other than buck breaking. Now, for those of you who have followed my slavery series, you know that we last discussed breeding farms and some of the punishments that occurred on them. Now, many try to deny what happened and they say that no such thing as bug breaking ever occurred during slavery and it's only a myth or a hoax. But us critical thinkers with common sense, we know this is not true. And in fact, buck breaking was one of the most common and heinous forms of punishment during slavery. And with that being said, let's chat. As we all know, many things within African American history and many things that happened to slaves during slavery are being removed from history. Now, slowly, more and more information is disappearing to somewhat switch the narrative as to what really happened for the future generations to come. And this is one of the reasons why I do what I do. And I will continue to make my videos. Now, during this great removal of things that happened, one of the main things that's being removed is the history of book breaking. Now, there are sources that say that book breaking is a mere hoax. And it was made up by black nationalists as a form of anti-white propaganda. Now, the sources say it never happened. And they go on to say there is no such proof and homosexuality was illegal. Now, it was claimed that it was looked at as the same as pedophilia or child molestation. And it's even said that sodomy during slavery times was a felony punishable by hangings. I mean, the thought of a white man sexually assaulting their slaves in such a way was ludicrous, according to some sources. But these same sources, they go on to say that non-consensual sexual relations happened quite regularly between the slaves and their masters. And this is exactly why many of us know that this is all baloney. And buck breaking was definitely a thing. I mean, buck breaking, it was a form of sexual abuse used as a punishment. And what many don't know is that one of the first places it became more popular was in the Caribbean. I mean, the Caribbean, it was one of the first places that buck breaking really became popular. But now it was definitely not the only place that buck breaking took place. Now, buck breaking, it became quite common throughout all places in which slavery took place. And buck breaking, it became more common when the African-American slaves began to rebel. 
I mean, in the beginning, buck breaking, it consisted of stripping a male slave and having them flogged while other slaves watched. Now, for those of us who don't know what flogging means, flogging is pretty much where the male slaves were stripped and beaten with a whip or a stick as a form of punishment or torture. Now, it did not take long before the punishment was kicked up a notch. The slave masters, they really wanted to cripple the ego and the strength of the male slaves. And they not only wanted to punish them physically, but they also wanted to punish them psychologically as well. And they felt as if whippings, they were just simply not enough. And buck breaking, it was believed to not be the most painful form of punishment from a physical perspective. But psychologically, it was believed to be the most devastating. I mean, a buck, a buck was the term used for a male slave who had been deemed resistant or rebellious. A buck could be a full grown adult male, an adolescent teen male, or even a male child slave. And buck breaking, it was a punishment, not only, it was a punishment that was only, I'm sorry, it was only afflicted upon male slaves. And buck breaking, it included psychological methods such as isolating the male slaves and denying them food and water, beatings, and full on sexual assault from the white male slave owners. Now, the white male slave owners, they would beat or flog the male slaves. They would brand them with branding irons. They would mutilate them by cutting off their genitalia. And they would even sodomize or ape them. Now, the male slaves, they went through this harsh punishment in front of other white slave owners, in front of other slaves, And in front of their own families. And a little interesting fact or a side note. Now many people think that the sagging of pants by males originated from prison. Well hell to be honest I'm one of many. I mean because I thought this too as well. But sagging is said to have been around since slavery according to certain sources. Now the sources they state that. The slave masters, they forced the slaves to sag their pants and expose their undergarments or their bare naked buttocks to let others know that they have been buck broken or aped. Buck breaking was believed to show the superiority of the white masters over the male slave. And this is the reason it was done in front of other slaves and the slave's family. And buck breaking, it did not just consist of just a white master upon a black slave. I mean, sometimes the slave owners, they force male slaves to have sexual intercourse with each other. And the slaves that were buck broken, they appeared weak, less motivated and broken in spirit. And sex forms, they came about as a result of buck breaking. The white masters, they would move from farm to farm, plantation to plantation, assaulting male slaves. And now homosexuality, it was greatly frowned upon during this time. Yet the male slave owners, they would sexually assault their male slaves as a form of punishment. I mean, the method, it was used so frequently and it was so common that many believe that homosexual slave owners use bug breaking as an excuse to really play out their sexual fantasies upon the men without being frowned upon or to keep from drawing attention to their sexuality. Now, I mean, at this time, homosexuality, I mean, it could result in the loss of their lives. However... Buck breaking or aping the male slaves was permitted. 
bug breaking bruised male slaves ego so much that they refused to talk about it. And many ended their own lives. They simply could not live with the shame. And well, that brings us to the end of today's chat. Please tell me what you think in the comments below. Please like the video, share and subscribe. Any and all donations are a blessing. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.